Hello everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to Tiny the Pep Tech. This right here is my brother's old laptop, and even though it doesn't have the most amazing specs by any stretch of the imagination, the one thing that made it almost completely unusable was the fact that it only had 28 gigabytes of storage. So in today's video, I'm going to spend a whole day with this computer and see how long it takes for me to completely lose my mind with how little storage there is. Let's get into it, shall we? Now for starters, we have the boot time. And well, it boots eventually. The boot time feels a bit better than the boot time on my main PC, which is booting from a hard drive like it's still 2001, but it's still not great, especially compared to my brother's PC and my mom's new PC, which are both booting from NVMe SSDs. Now, it's time to install some stuff. One important thing to keep in mind is that we only have about 7 gigabytes of storage that we can actually use, because Windows feels the need to take up, like, a bajillion gigabytes for whatever reason. And yes, this is even after I uninstalled a bunch of Microsoft bloatware using PowerShell. So yeah, things are already looking pretty dire. Anyway, I attempted to first install Valorant, and well, that failed, because unsurprisingly there was not enough free space. But then I installed OpenOffice, because, I mean, let's face it, we're not going to be able to install any modern games on here, so I uh, might as well try and use it for some productivity stuff. And uh, OpenOffice did install, but I wouldn't be surprised if storage would run out pretty quickly after creating a large number of documents and storing them on here. Next, I installed Firefox, since I don't really like Edge, and if you have, like, this little storage, you're gonna want to be doing a lot of your stuff through web-based applications, which, while are nowhere near as good as standalone applications, they're okay in a pinch. And all that was fine, and then for the rest of the day, I found that basic web browsing and stuff like that wasn't totally unbearable. However, I definitely started to see some of the other limitations, like only 4GB of RAM, and the very unimpressive Intel Celeron CPU. But at the end of the day, I was definitely ready to go back to my main PC so I could actually play some video games and browse the web with over 16 tabs like I usually do. <laughs> well, that was quite a day. And I can confidently say that no, you very definitely cannot reasonably function with only 28 gigabytes of storage in your system. If you had 20 gigabytes of RAM, then that's actually kind of weird because that's not a super common configuration, but your system would be really decent if you had that much RAM. Now, yes, most Chromebooks can have less storage than this, but Chromebooks are probably the worst kind of computer if you can even call something like that a computer. So, no, you really can't live with this little storage in 2020. If you are using something with less than 120 gigabytes of storage for anything other than booting, you should definitely consider a storage upgrade. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of short, but I've been working on some other projects that are mm, taking a lot of resources. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one, where I killed a Mac Mini. <gasps> oh my god, did I just break that as well?